Okie dokie. Hello. How's everybody doing? Um, we're going to get into ankles. I love that. I hope knees went well. I hope our, fit, hip, our fips, the other things, the hips are feeling good. Um, we're going to get our ankles going. So day one, side to side. Day two, front to back. Well, more up on heels. Day three, up on toes. Some version of that. We'll go through it. Um, today, exercise band if you have it. Ball. Um, if you don't, we're going to go through a couple exercises, inversion and eversion, which it, well, the opposite. Jeez, I'm all over the place today. Okay, so we're going to go over inversion, which is bringing your toes into the middle, and eversion, which is bringing your toes out from the middle. Um, and a couple of things that I want to go over, this is not a knee exercise. None of these are knee exercises. As always, if it hurts, don't do it. Um, get it checked out. Call your doctor. Call your physical therapist. Um, yeah, just don't do it. If it hurts, don't do it. Um, but I want you to be hyper aware of where your knees are. So we're rotating the foot. All right. So this is an ankle problem. If you see my knee, I realize it's like, this is the worst. All right, here we go. My knee, see how my hand's not moving? If I'm rotating my hip or I'm wiggling my knee, my hand's moving. If I'm just moving my ankle, I'm just <laughs> moving my finger with it. All right, if I'm just moving my ankle, my hand is not moving, which means my knee is not moving for all these exercises. The reality is you may have to put your hand on your knee to stop it from moving. Um, and that is not uncommon for people who are learning how to move their ankles independently of their legs. It's just not a thing we think of. And so it's a thing that you sort of have to override. All right, first things first, we're gonna do some exercises to get those muscles firing. And then we're gonna do some stretches. All right, so I'm gonna aim you low. You're gonna get my feet today. We're gonna come right up next to the bookshelves. You don't have my, you got my knees. Here we go, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna start with pushing out. I'm gonna push into the ball. My leg is straight, all right? And you're gonna, I'm just gonna put this on my kneecap so you can see it, so it's like a braid. So my ankle is pushing. All right, my ankle is pushing out. Now, if I were doing my whole leg, that's what you would say. If I was using my hip or my thigh to push that ball, this would be moving. Um, but it's not because I'm isolating my ankle. All right. So, again, this you may have to do this. You may have to grab your thigh and say, no, no thigh. You don't get to rotate because if I'm using my legs, I'm going to notice all of me is moving. If I'm just isolating my ankle, this is not moving. All right. So that is E version. That's pushing out. Now we can do inversion together. And again, put your hands on your knees because if I'm using my thighs to do this, see what's happening with my hands? But I'm not, I'm just using my ankles, pushing in. All right, and we're gonna do, as always, three times two fatigue. That might be five, that might be 10, that might be seven and a half. Whatever works for you. All right, so same thing with the band. The band, the band allows you to do, oh, I'm gonna scooch back so you can see me. All right, and again, like straight-ish legs, all right? The band allows you to do E-version. Sorry, I'm gonna keep my hands on my knees so you can see that they're stationary. E-version, slow and controlled, all right? If we're coming, wing, 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 if we're just letting that band pull us back, we're not doing ourselves any favors, all right? Slow and controlled out, slow and controlled in. This is an ankle exercise, if my hips we're doing the work. This is what it would look like. Right? Ta-da! Um, so, no hips. See how my hands are nice and stationary? Because my ankles are doing all this work. Now, Dara, how do you get the band to resist that way? Well, you go like this. 
and you go like this. All right. The good news is it's really hard for your hip to do any work when you've got it locked with your other leg. All right. Just the ankle. And then same thing, switch sides. Up on the heel. Just the ankle. This is ankle only work. It doesn't seem very exciting, but trust me, it is hard work. Our ankles do a lot, which means they get pretty tight. And when they get pretty tight, um, they get pretty weak because ankles be ankling. All right, back to the ball. Um, if you have a half foam roll, this is a good time to do it um, because you put the the roll part down and you put your foot on the on the roll and you push out and in out and in this is a suit here let me pull you back so you can see me this is a super fun one this is super tricky this is another one where we want that leg to do all the work um but this is an ankle exercise out to that side of the ball into that side of the ball so we drop the outside arch inside arch outside arch inside arch all right because if we're doing our knee to manipulate where that ankle is we're just rolling the ball on the ground um, i really want you to focus on keeping that still and steady this takes a lot of intention at first your brain is going to go burr, 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 what are you doing all right and again intention the ankle goes out, in, drop the outside, drop the inside. All right, so you're just rolling it on that ball. Whee, that's all over the place. There you go, three times to fatigue. All right, let's get some of that stretching. So when we're talking about stretching the outside of the ankle, we're going to pull the ankle into inversion. So we're stretching outside the outside of the ankle and you're just gonna pull it in. This shouldn't hurt. I'm gonna bring it back up to my face so we can see everything. All right, let me double check that guy. Oh, I forgot that one. Oh, I forgot that one. We'll do that one after. Okay. So bring it over. Stretch up. These don't hurt. These are just stretches, which means they feel nice. Um, we're not pulling the joint space. We're pulling a little bit of the outside of the calf. We're pulling a little bit of the outside of the ankle. Um, but we're not feeling it deep. We're not feeling a pinching, burning, stinging. None of that thing. Other side. You might feel a little bit along the outside of your foot. It's totally fine. As long as it doesn't hurt. There you go. Hold that. 30 seconds. Excellent. All right, you can also, now I need to aim it down again. We're doing this guys, we're all over the place today. You can also stretch it like that on the ground if you can't get that hip up, if that hip's not, not working for you today. You can do that, this stretch. So this is your kind of dropping the knee in. All right, so we're dropping the hip in to get that angle and then you're bringing the knee back. So how did that look? Foot out. Rotate my body so I have that angle on my ankle and then I'm rotating my body back so I get a nice stretch on the inside of the ankle. All right, so again, rotate my body so I have my ankle in line with my leg and then I'm gonna rotate back and get a stretch on the inside of my ankle. All right. Hold that 30 seconds. Um, dun, dun, dun. All right. You can get that and seated. All right, the ball, stay there. You're just pushing down away from you. All right, so you're stretching. The other one was, we're stretching this way, pulling up. Oh, I like that one today. That feels good. This one is stretching down. Sometimes I have trouble with the ankles because I don't exactly know where I'm feeling it, which for me just tells you that my ankles are in a good, in a good place. 
um, but you're going to feel a little bit here and you're going to feel a little bit through here. Um, again, we're not, we're not stretching the joint. So if you feel it on the joint itself, um, that's not what we're going for. We're getting the muscle bellies. That's our plan. All right. And the last one that I skipped that we'll do now is alphabets. A. <laughs> B. C. D. E. Get creative. You want a little flourish? Do a little, do a little um, calligraphy. Do a little cursive. But what I do want, I want a straight knee. So this is like a bonus quad exercise. If you can't hold that straight knee, prop it up on something. Because as always, this is not going to be a hip exercise. So we are going to, here. There's my marker to show you I'm not doing, my hip is not moving. So if I was doing a lot of hip mobility, this is what you'd see, A, B, C. But I am not, I'm just doing ankle mobility. Sorry, apparently talking and moving my ankles at the same time is a struggle for me, but that's okay. So alphabet, 26 letters, however long it takes you. There you go, there you have it. Get those ankles moving. All right, um, I will see you all in two days with some calf work. All right, have a good one. Bye guys.